day one in the big other house. Hello. 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 Hi. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hi. Uh, hi. Hello. Hi. I don't like in here. Hi. 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 Hello. Hi. <laughs> hi. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hello. Hi. All right, you ready to start? Okay. Okay. Uh. Okay. Um. Okay. All right. And should I look at the camera? <laughs> It was a, an impromptu decision to have a day like this, just to give uh, the people of Machenfreth and Broadway and the area surrounding an idea of what um, the proposal going to Cynnar the Powys Powys County Council, is all about, the local proposal. I'm Christine Conroy, I'm the osteopath and I think I was the last person to work in this building and the last person to have a key um, before we were turfed out in favour of Celtica. And uh, it's a great shame because before that time this place was already the centre for um, a lot of local activities and I remember when it was both the council offices, the post office sorting office, um, there was a ballroom, there were two floors of people with private offices and um, those activities have gradually disappeared around the town. So I think it's wonderful that we're now getting it back again. I've had a really amazing day here today at the um, People's Plus party and the thing that struck me about today is there's so many people here from all the walks of life but a real representation of community in McCuncliffe and it really says to me that people want Celtica building or the Plus building as it's known to stay open, to be used as a community space that people can come and do their thing in whether it's the teenagers and their bands performing, whether it's people doing arts, whether it's a business office space, because at the moment, if you're trying to set up a business in this area, you can't get the space to do it. My name is David Thorpe, and here's my business card. I'm from a company called Siberium, which currently is based in a small unit in Kainush, just about uh, four or five miles outside of Punkra. There are about seven or eight different units in, inside that space. Almost uh, every week, certainly every couple of weeks, somebody turns up and wants to rent space there and there's a long waiting list there already because let's face it there's a real shortage of space for small businesses. I think it really ties in well with the sustainable ideas of this area to have businesses based locally rather than people commuting to other places to work. I'm an artist myself and it'd be really nice if there were places where artists could have um, studios. I would love to use it to bring the students I'm teaching in Europe who are desperate to have courses in Wales. Um, I would like to bring them here and teach them here. So if that facility was available, I would definitely use it. I think that the whole idea of having so many groups inside the building is that we'd all meet each other, we'd all start talking in the cafes, the meeting rooms and so on, and we'd all start brainstorming and coming up with ideas for other things that we can do together. And it just has a massive build-up effect, so that there'd be all kinds of, of spin-offs for new projects, new companies, organisations, uh, events, all kinds of things that would make the community much more vibrant, build up the local economy and make it an even more exciting and wonderful place to live than it is already. So Siberium supports the venture, we urge everybody else to support it and we really hope that it works.
I'd like this um this Celtica well this old Celtica to be um a cinema because it'll be much handy than going to Arbor and lots of fun things to do as well. <laughs> I think Celtica um there should be a cinema in Celtica because there's no um, cinema. cinemas in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Animal shelter. Animal club. Yeah, yeah. Three inside mice when I found in the class. One thing we really miss about Celtica is the ballpark, which was a fantastic place to have birthdays. And Ethan really misses it, don't you? And it was a fantastic place to go in the rain as well. Um, which of course it never does in, in Mid Wales. So, and I think what the town's really lacking is, is an indoor space for young children. Um, I've got two young children and having somewhere for them to play and somewhere for me to have a cup of coffee is fantastic. For them to go and have dancing lessons because they love that idea, that would be fantastic. There's a real need for a dance school here. I know that there are 501 little girls and little boys waiting to enrol in the art centre in Aberystwyth to dance. I think a dance studio. A bar restaurant area that, that serves uh, good coffee, um, selection of wines and spirits and beers and uh, reasonably, reasonably priced food. <laughs> I think this class should be a community youth club because they all hang out over in the skate park and the park. What do we think? What do you think it should be? Um, I think it should be something for the teenagers, to be honest, because there's nothing here, really. Well, I work for the youth service uh, in this area, and um, so my main interest in anything that happens to the class is uh, how it's going to benefit young people. So uh, anything that improves their access to leisure facilities or their ability to take part in any kind of um, training courses or anything like that, arts work. Theatre would be brilliant because I do drama in school, I'm doing it A-level. and well, that, would be, that would be brilliant to do something you wouldn't have to go to ABBA to do. Like the whole idea of um, a theatre group um, for yous is that us as youths can go there, we can direct ourselves, we can manage ourselves, we can perform, we can decide when we want to perform, we can write our own scripts, we can, you know, switch roles in director and switch roles in this, you know? And that would give us so much skill. and somewhere for like bands to practice. The young lads that were playing outside, all 15 year olds, fantastic music, um, a practice place for them would be great. I'm quite interested in a space for bands to rehearse and also a space where you could do workshops, music workshops with young people, um, possibly a recording studio. Places for workshops like circus workshops and um like art workshops, Ooh, or maybe like an IT room. An IT centre, that sounds like a good idea. Any sort of training facilities. I very much like to see uh, the Celtica, the old class, become a centre uh, for the arts in the community. Not necessarily a place where we just come and sit and watch, uh, but a place where we come and do. It has huge social justice benefits, and you, do, you can just see in other parts of Wales where communities get involved in arts events. It's a two-way process, everybody benefits, and it actually helps with some of the social problems that we have. So that's what I want to see. Thanks. <laughs> I think that this is a fantastic idea and I really truly believe that the Plas should belong to the people of the Chantles. I'm a little concerned about the um, involvement of the local Welsh speaking population 
in the project and I think it's very, very important to be inclusive. It would be really good if it could be as, as appealing to the Welsh community as it is to the English community. The whole community can mix, I think that's what Maths is missing. A Definitely. Kind of mixed place. If it could really achieve sort of multicultural in terms of all the different cultures that are around here, if it could appeal to that, that would be fantastic. It's a fantastic building um, and with the, the like a hot pot of, of local people um, with so many different interests and with so many, they come from so many diverse backgrounds and they bring so much to the community. I think um, to keep it community based is, is one of the most important things. Um, and also to, to help um, bring together all the cultural differences. I talked um, also to Yoni about um, trying to incorporate in the design of the place um, Welsh phrases so that if you're attracting tourism and tourists in to use the building that they see Welsh phrases and they realise that Welsh is a living language. I listened to a talk by a man from Lanarust um, and I felt quite inspired to actually learn Welsh because um, I, I was impressed by what he said about thinking in a different way if you're speaking a different language. I know that's true and um, it's something that I haven't done yet but uh, anyway that's what's positive come out of this day for me and it's been great. Thank you very much. I haven't got anything else to say. <laughs> vitally important that we keep this building for the community. There's no other heart of Mechenchleth. This is, this is what we've got really. A great big bit of grass and an interesting building and then surrounding land. It's good. It's a place where everybody can interact. It's a really important place for us and I wouldn't want to see it lost. I'm very keen that the, the, the place is used for something that the local community would be interested in rather than an outside body coming in and using I think it would be a waste if sort of the university or someone came in and used it just for office spaces because it's such a beautiful space and actually it could be well today was just a great event and I think it's a real opportunity to use this place and we've got to have a venue to do things like this and if we don't have a venue to do things like this then these things won't happen we live in a fantastic area we're surrounded by fantastic people we need the place for the people. I think that the council have the councils have a legal they, they have a particular legal position where they feel that they can sell this building and I cannot question their sort of legal right to do that but I do question their moral right to do that I think this building and the grounds here were left to the inhabitants of this town and the districts around and uh, it says that very clearly on the plus gates I love you like can you really just sell that and just sell it all away to the highest bidder? Speak so I might know you. I don't know if the energy And I would really contest the council's moral right to do that. And I think further that it's a good idea and we can make it work.
been a really fantastic day here at the Plas and I think it shows um, how much um, community involvement there is in MACH. Um, I think you know, we'd like to see more of that and um, really use it as, a, as the people's class. There's so many sort of performing arts and, um, and bands locally that um, I think it would, it would take a lot for it not to work um, and, and, and a, little, a little bit of effort from everybody for it to make it work um, really well. So I've had a really good day and it's really shown me what's possible here and that this community is really vibrant and it's got the capacity to take on a building like this, take on a project of this scale and really do something quite credible with it. So I'm really excited. <laughs> Council would be extremely foolish to uh, refuse the community proposal in any shape or form. I'm quite sure that the vast majority of the people in the town would do things like withhold their council tax and aim to make powers ungovernable. <laughs> Cut. <laughs>